everybody, and welcome to a redone Let's Play of Oblivion, the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. And a few years ago, I uh, I did a walkthrough on my channel, but it wasn't very good. And uh, my channel after that, I tried doing the Let's Play of it, but uh, we did one episode. So today we are going to be playing um, the primarily the main quest of Oblivion from start to finish and we might be doing um, other uh, quest lines like the Dark Brotherhood and the Fighters Guild and uh, the Thieves Guild. We might do that a little later um, but for now we're just mainly going to do the main, uh, the main quest so without any further ado we are going to hop right into the game. And I will mute my mic for this cutscene because it is awesome. I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of last seed. The year of Akatosh, 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era and the final hours of my life. Water's amazing. Anyway, so this game is Oblivion. It is a very, very old game. It's from 2006. That makes it 12 years old. And it was the first M rated game I've ever played, and it's easily one of my favorite video games, if not my uh, most favorite video game. So this game is is very dear to me despite how absolutely broken it is uh well at the time it was a very uh uh new and uh before its time uh type of video game now it is very 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 broken and h absolutely hilarious so now we're on the uh character selection screen and this is where we are going to decide uh what character um we are going to make um, alright, so, first of all, before I get into this, I'd like, uh, to let everyone know that I'm going to be playing a slightly modified version of this game. Um, it's a little tweaks, makes Quest a little more flashy and interesting, but, um, other than that, uh, it shouldn't affect it too much from the original game. So, let's go through the races. We have Imperial natives to uh Cyrodiil. Got the Khajiit. Uh obviously this is not a playable race. This is just from one of the mods I have. Uh Nord. Orc. Redguard. Wood Elf. Argonian. Breton. Dark Elf. And High Elf. Which uh they suck. Um anyway. So what class 
or what race should we go with? Hmm. You know, I usually play as an orc, but we're gonna go with something different than that. Um. Nope. Nope. Autism cat already exists. Um. Should we be Breton? I don't know. Hold on. Let me. There's music. Let me turn on the music. That might be way too loud, but I don't really care. Um. Argonian. What else? Red Guard. I think, you know, I think we're just gonna go with an Imperial. Because it's like where it's set in the game. Anyway. Uh. We're just gonna be a male. I'll be fine. Um. Alright. Eye color. Yeah, this is also a mod. Now let's see. What eye color they have. Alright, let's, like, try to. Because I know, like, Imperials are supposed to represent, like, uh, Roman. Uh. They have, like, Roman characteristics. Like, their civilization. Anyway, let's just try to make, like, resemblance of myself. Of, like, what I look like actually in real life. Which is, like, super boring, but I don't really care. Alright, skin color. I'm very, very fucking pale. Very fucking pale. Um. Yeah, I like that, pal. Alright, uh, now, uh, color. That's about my hair color. And I, I have very long hair. Huh. Actually, I'm going to choose a race. Yeah, the mods are different. I'm going to choose a race that, uh, resembles, like, my heritage the most. Because every race in this game has, um, a, um, what's the word? They're based off of, uh, real life. Uh, they're based off of, um, real life, uh, cultures. And if I had to, uh, match my, uh, culture, or, like, my, uh, heritage, um, I would, uh, the Bretons would be the best match because, uh, the Bretons are based off of, uh, old, uh, Celtic tribes and, uh, Brittany territories. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's try to, let's try to fix this guy first. First of all, I'm not that pale, unlike, because Bretons in the game are naturally pretty pale. Alright. Alright, I'm taking way too much time on this, but I don't care. I'm going to try to make him look pretty. Okay, that works. And... Hold on, let's go, let's go through hair color. Um... That's not my hair color, what was I talking about? Yeah, that's about my hair color. And, like I said, very long. Nope. Let's go. Th let's just go through the hairstyles. I'm not bald, not yet. Um. Yeah, I have my hair in a ponytail quite a lot. Which one? Which one's longer? That one's longer. This is a very accurate what my hair looks like actually in real life. For, but before we go, let me fix my freaking eyebrows because it's. Yeah. That's an idea <laughs> of what I look like. 
Um, obviously it's very inaccurate though, but that's whatever. Anyway, we're Breton. What are we gonna name our character? What's a Breton name? Um... Yep. I don't even care. I'm just gonna name him Vlad. Because that's like the only name that's kind of medieval that I can think of. So we're just gonna go with that. And... Yep, alright. Are you sure you want to be a Breton? Um, I'm positive. Alright. Oh, this is a mod. It's a battle force. Uh, okay. Pale skin, snotty expression. You're a oh, and if you're wondering why I'm in prison, uh, magic. the game doesn't tell you. <laughs> Nothing but a bunch of stuck up snobs with cheap parlor tricks. Cheap parlor Go ahead. Try oh, magic. I can't wait until I join the Dark Brotherhood so I get to kill you later. Disappear. No. What's the matter? Not so powerful now, are you, Breton? Not exactly. Oh, and I also installed a mod where you can see your, like, Because in the original game, you're just a floating head. That's right. You're going to die in here, Breton. You're uh, uh. going to die. Ah! Hey, you hear that? No, because I've already coming. played this game, and I know something's about to happen. Ha. <laughs> huh. Of course he doesn't get this. Game. That would be super meta if he understood. <laughs> Alright, and then conveniently, the Emperor and his uh, guards that were assigned to them come through my cell. My job secret right pass now is to get you to away, safety. Which is, What's wow, this super doing convenient here? for uh, This cell is you know, supposed to be off limits. Uh, you know, just imagine like a game with the that, watch. Like, I, Never we, mind. Like, get imagine that like we start a blood Stand back, cell, so it's like He won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. Stay put, prisoner. Good, let's go. We're not out of this yet. The guy told us to say play. You, He's kind of a dick. I've seen you. Let me see your face. Oh my. You are the one from my dreams. That's so. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. I'm the one from your dreams, huh? Okay. Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. You are? My I blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Anyway, uh, why am I in jail? Because the game never tells you. Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. Oh, thank fuck, because I did some bad stuff. Uh, and yes, I'm aware that the reason they don't tell you why you're in jail is for roleplay reasons. I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By really? the grace By of the, the gods, tag, I serve like Tamriel as her ruler. You, were the you are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. I go my own way. Like, <laughs> so do we all. But what path can be avoided whose end is fixed by the almighty gods? Please, uh, yeah, sir, we must keep game. moving. Like, a lot of them. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Don't try. Looks like this is your lucky day. I'm watching you. Just stay out of our way. Yeah, this is kind of bad because I figure, like, if I was in, pr in prison in this game, I figure I would have found out that this, you know, by just accidentally leaning on it. But whatever, we got home free. So we're just going to take that. We're not going to take that for granted, and we're just going to follow these people. That Stand hopefully, aside, um, maybe there will be pro plot related reasons and why we're allowed to follow them without them killing us. Close up left. Protect the Emperor. 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 Protect Are you all right, sire? We're clear for now. Captain Leno? She's dead. Could they be waiting for us here? How could they? Don't know, but it's too late to go back now. Don't worry, sire. 
Oh, boy. We will get you out of here. 